the building. Sure. Yeah. Uh, before well, you completely exit, Desmond kind of says something to you, or so he says, like, well, the only thing I can think left to do is displace those who are keeping the island closed. Don't know how to stop these creatures. But killing a king ain't gonna... Well, he ain't no king. Probably thinks he is, but he ain't gonna be an easy target. Yeah, I'm not really sure uh, if that's Unless too plausible. Darts. If we could gain an audience with him, that would have been one thing, but not sure how we're going to do that. Anyway, any ideas? None whatsoever. No. I, I mean, the best we've done is what we did before. It was, you know, we, we've done our best. Let's try to capture this thing but it's so fast that by the time we find what ha when it happens it's it's too late it's already gone well we know what it is it helped if we had some sort of magical assistance or Damien mm. but he's so busy with something else that you know yeah, what is he up to anyway? I have actually no idea. He just disappeared. It's mm. weird, so it's not uh well, it's not helpful. Violet could probably capture one of these fuckers, but gotta find it first. Gotta know where they are. Oh, yeah. It doesn't sound like they're anywhere uh, here in Ravencrest, so I wouldn't be too sure. I don't know. I got this feeling. No? Violet kind of looks at him. Yeah. I told you that we fought creatures like this before. This sounds like what we saw on the island. Oh, you fought these things before? Yeah. 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 I already told you this. Well, I don't know for sure that they're the same thing, but I'm pretty sure they fit the they fit the criteria. Could be something else, but yeah. So they've Violet's pretty certain they've always been a problem here. Then what was that? They've always been a problem here. Then, if that's the case. Or at least for some time. They could have been here for a while. Infiltrating, but... They're... They're smart creatures. Probably... If, uh... Well... Look, this is just a guess, but I'm just saying. You don't shit where you eat. That's hmm. true. We could, uh, most likely left. So what? Would you like to search the sewers or something? Or I'm just saying. Doesn't seem like a good idea. No, I don't know. Fuck. Which way did they, did they exit? Do you remember when you saw them? Which way did they leave? I mean, my best bet is they went. They went to quick. Uh, quickly ran to a um. What's it freaking called? Uh, alleyways. That's the only way they escaped. Uh, escaped our sights. Look, I could be wrong. I'm just saying. This seems a little weird to me. They've had no attacks here whatsoever. If it is these constructs we fought on the island, ain't no wall gonna keep them out. 
makes me crazy question. <sighs> no. There's no way he would purposely be letting these things do that as an excuse to close the island off, would he? Who? The king. Or whatever. The self appointed king. Desmond looks at you long and hard for a moment, thinking about Ravencrest. Well, he is a piece of shit. So, like, you, th you think he has something to do with this? But why would he purposely let this happen? Maybe he saw what's coming and wants to be, uh, doesn't want to die when, when all, everything comes to fruition? It doesn't look to Violet. Like, what do you think? Maybe he sided with this thing and <sighs> making an excuse. I mean, he, he sounds like the type of person who's made an excuse before to shut off the island for silly things. Maybe they keep him safe. Maybe that's the point. Or he looks at Vahari. They've got him hostage. after Violent kind of give, gives him a look, and he kind of claps you on the shoulder and says, "Devil's bargain." Shake my head. Yeah. Mm, could be. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. He is one hell of a piece of shit. It could have actually could have happened in. The Dwarven Ruins, we might have not known about it because we never found them. What do you mean? Dwar King. Dwarven Ruins. Oh, with the... Um, I wasn't there. I, I, yeah, I heard that you went to the yeah, we Dwarven saved, Kingdom. Yeah, we but... saved them. All of them. Uh-huh. I, you know, I killed a Beholder. We killed an undead Beholder. What the hell is that? Never mind. I don't know. It's like some sort of like eyeball. It's weird. He shrugs. People were saying that that was a big deal. I didn't. You guys are by the. You're still having this conversation like in the hallway, yeah. right outside of the mayor's door. I mean, you closed the door, but because uh, Desmond yeah. had talked to you guys before you exited. Um, well, it's at least a thought. What do you think, Violet? You think uh, one of your one of your sisters could uh, have something to do with this? One of her sisters. She. Uh... You say, yeah, you say that as she's writing something down. Uh, he says, yeah, yeah. Something like that, anyway. Uh, yeah, so she writes, yes, probably. And uh, she writes, actually, a list of names down of who she would expect could perhaps be behind something like this. He said, ah, I don't, I don't know any of those names, but what's special about those ones? And she just writes, more powerful. Me, me, me. Aww. <laughs> uh. <sighs> do you think they're maybe leaders or pack leaders or do they work alone or together? Together? Uh, the ones that she wrote down, she she writes. Um, she kind of like points to the names with an arrow. Mm -hmm. Leaders. Leaders. Together. Okay. Hmm. When when like they 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 are together are they like not together but they lead like other people. She writes other no. 
more of my kind. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, Violet, do you think do you think you possess the ability to catch them? She nods. Really? How do you think? Uh, Would you be able to lure them, maybe, with your, or would you recognize them at all? She Should... nods. I see. Well, this is a good start. She doesn't have her full memory back. Like, she's still missing a lot, but it seems like her visit to the island awoke a lot of memories. Like, at least, like, fragments. Like, certain people... Certain Look, names. Part of Ahari is worried. Kind of like the hierarchy system, mm -hmm. you know. Part of part of Ahari is very worried that she'll remember totally in the mm -hmm. she's evil. So that's, that's a very cool. rational thing to be afraid of. Yeah. So, but another part of me was like, I hope that she might also remember her members with us and be, uh, yeah. Or he's just stressed right now. And Orsic has literally no idea what you guys are talking about. Sure you do. You're the one that pushed the idea forward, aren't you? Or was it Vahari? Someone s mentioned this concept. That it was somebody else working? No, that it was like potentially that the uh, that Baron Ravencrest was in on this. Yeah. What if you guys mentioned that? Oh, awesome. I said, yeah. Oh, it was Vahari, okay. Like I understand that Ravencrest is, I I just I'm lost on why Violet's sisters or whatever. It's like how they're connected to it. I mean, you can ask these questions in game if you wish, but yeah. I mean, that's why I said I'm Orsic sitting here lost. Why? Why are they connected? Husband. Those man. He kind of looks to her. You saw that. We were on the island. You saw some of what what we saw. Remember, Akron. Now. You know that this shit is all linked together, right? I mean. I didn't, I wasn't thinking the shades or whatever the hell we're seeing here is, is that part of that same thing? Well, as I said, we're not 100% certain, but they fit all the criteria. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> and then Vahari's sister's can do the same things as her, Violet. I assume. Or Vi yeah, not Violet's. Violet's sisters can do the same thing as her. And... Yeah. Yeah, out of game, like, uh, Aresh Kegel mentioned all this stuff to you already. Like, she talked about how... There were more? I don't remember. Yeah, there were there more, were. and they were... Oh, uh, God, where am I? No, it's... Uh, well... I mean, I'm not gonna like. If you don't remember, then maybe you don't remember. But <sighs> effectively, yes, there are more, and this is the sort of thing they do. Okay. I mean, I guess I vaguely remember <clears throat> that Violet's not the only one like that, but I don't remember like anything else of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to do like an intelligence check okay. to try and see if your character remembers more. That's whatever. You know. I'm not really yeah. going to just like, yeah. 
so, uh, how do we go f about finding one of Violet's sisters then? Well, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> sort of, would they be able to, like kind of attract to each other or something? I don't know. Like, Can she sense the presence of her sisters? She. I don't know. Smell them. There are ways that you would be. I don't know. Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps the Baron, uh, has one of them close to him. As in, perhaps he's married to her, or something. Desmond kind of looks grimly at you. That. Mm. That's an interesting thought. Hmm. Or he has uh, a captive. Well. Like we found Violet here. She was captive. Should we try to get an audience with him? But how the hell else are we going to find out? Yeah. Would we ask if Violet is familiar to him? I don't want to be so brash and so upfront with him. Risk, uh, risk Violet's safety. But maybe that's um, the only option. What you're asking if Violet? I'm, so, I'm kind of confused. What you're asking? I mean, I'm saying it. It would. If we went to him and asked him if he recognized anything about Violet, if he saw anybody familiar, you know, like something like that, yeah. to see Maybe. if he knew anything, you know, pry kind of. My if... thought is though is if we can get an audience with him, seeing if and this is an if. One of them constructs is with him. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to know right away. Yeah. He uh, looks. He looks at Violet, uh, and you see uh, the very, very obvious, strange look to her. Mm -hmm. They're not very subtle. A lot of them have this yeah. glowing yellow, golden eyes, porcelain skin. They stand out, which is mm -hmm. why they work at night. So. Uh... The big gap that they might be there in the first place. I'm just saying, if we see one, we'll know. But what if he's got them captives somewhere where we wouldn't see them? What if he doesn't just parade them what around? If he... You're saying if he has them enslaved? Or something like that. Violet shakes her head. She writes down, he's the slave. All right, well. I guess if that's the case, let's go try to hold audience with him. Sounds good to me. And you guys turn around and go back into the room you exited like 10 minutes ago. Wait, is, this all mean, the, can... is this the same building? Yeah, you were right outside oh. his door just like having a... Because like as soon as you leave, Desmond kind of pulls you aside and had this conversation. With you. I figured these were like two different buildings, so... Hmm? I, I kind of you know you were right outside office. the mayor's room. Yeah, I, I said that he pulls you aside, like you're a couple feet away, but and no one's in here necessarily. Yeah, but like I mean, we're talking about the Baron and not the mayor, right? And are they like in the same building then? No. What do we have to talk? He's to in him? his. I mean, you're. I mean, it's, I mean, we gotta. You probably don't know, so you're gonna probably have to ask yeah. Desmond or something. But uh, Desmond says no, no. He's in. A, he's in the key. This is just okay, that's, that's what I thought. government building for the for the rabble. Yeah, that's what I thought. But, I mean, it's just it's just out of game because you said you turn around and go back in. Like, why would we turn around and go back in after having that conversation? Oh, um, so like, like I... as Desmond's trying to enter, you stop him, or what? Because yeah, Desmond knows why he would do that. 
Right. Okay. I guess I just follow him then. You just okay. said you guys, and I'm like baffled. I mean, after why. you have this conversation, Desmond goes back into the room. So okay. maybe you really don't know why he went. Yeah. Okay. But you guys go back into the room, unless you don't. No, you yeah, can yeah. choose to do whatever you want. Um, and then the mayor looks back up and says, Was there something else you needed? I'm very busy, so please. Desmond kind of looks to you guys and says, well, we got to speak to Lord Ravencrest. We got something that only he can hear. And the mayor looks kind of squints, unconvinced. Even if I did deem your request worthy of Lord Ravencrest's time. He is not currently holding court ever under any circumstance. He kind of looks to the side. <laughs> and Desmond looks to you guys like, what? That's weird. Like ever under any circumstance? That's what he said, yeah. I can um, kind of look to like, yeah, thinking on my toes. I believe that we might we might have information leading to someone trying to attempt to stop on his life, but why didn't you say that when you first came in here? We didn't know who we could trust and after a short discussion we 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 didn't again we don't know who but I understand this might sound weird to you, but I don't exactly know who we can trust, so I didn't want to say anything directly to you, under fear that someone might attempt, or you might even, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, Mari, give me a charisma check with advantage, since you're all kind of working together, trying to convince him. D20 plus persuasion. For 2d20s, plus persuasion, which is actually pretty good, or... Oh, wow. That's terrible. Wow! Uh... So you're saying that, and Desmond says, Why ain't he holding court anyway? That's awfully strange. And he says, um, Sir, I do not make it my concern to question the activities of my landed lord. It's like he's almost saying something scripted. You know, mm -hmm. he's like, My job is to uphold the law and to alleviate the problems of, and he points to you guys, the baseborn. If you believe your troubles warrant the lord's immediate attention, then perhaps you should thoroughly disclose what you know to myself first. I will judge the importance of this. Let's see. So, out with it. You believe that my lord's life is in danger? then I would have you tell me the full truth. So, have you seen the Baron lately, as of late? Have you seen him? Uh, he kind of looks down for a moment. Well, now that you say it, no. It's been a while. How long? Would you say since he closed the doors? No, no, of course not. I saw him a fortnight ago, perhaps. Was he alone or accompanied by perhaps a strange bodyguard? Bodyguard? Or He always he always has bodyguards. Or is, is, was he The Baron. 
was he accompanied by a, a rather strange, more strange than usual person? Someone that would maybe catch your eye? He looks you dead in the eyes. How do you know? Kind of look Who at Who are you? Desmond and uh, Orsic. Like, show, I think we might need to just spill the beans and totally, like. Did you, you say know. that? You say that out, like, in game? No, I say, I tell, uh. I look, no, I give it to Desmond, and I'm like. Desmond, I think we must. I think to accomplish what we set out to do, we need to ally him with us. He must. I think he might. I said to Desmond. Yeah, there's like a there's like definite look of um, uh, of recognition in his eyes, like you totally just hit the nail on the head there. Yeah. Uh, but I'm looking at Desmond. Like, should we? I think that we can safely get this guy to. I think we can, and since he's the mayor, I think he can. I just, I, I quit looking at Desmond. And I'm like. <clears throat> Desmond so, says, "If you're the man, if you're a man of the people, like you claim, you'll get us an audience with this Baron Ravencrest. He's totally fucked, by the way." But, uh, perhaps we can stop the killing if we see him soon. And I raise my hand, please, doesn't... <clears throat> what... What kind of assurances do I have that you're not looking to raise hell? Who are you, and how do you know this sorts of information? Again, I'm like, I look at Desmond, like, I kind of whisper in your ear, and I'm like, I think that if we're going to get an audience with the king, that we need to, that we're going to need to fill this guy in. He looks, Desmond looks hesitant. Listen, I think we, we have our foot in the door, we just need to open a little more. This is I, uh, we got. I sort of step forward and uh, maybe begin to uncover my mace a little bit. I see him do and, that. Uh, I... Say, tell him. Sir, you see, I'm a paladin. And, uh, And, uh, I feel there's something not right that is controlling the Baron. These two are helping me to, uh, find out what it is that, was re that is really going on. And Paladin... Where do you hail from? What city? Well, it doesn't take uh, much to notice that uh, I am indeed a dwarf. He nods, yes. And uh, I've come from Volbrunder be... quite a while uh -huh. ago. It's a capital it's... offense, Paladin. If you were to, well, it would be a total, uh, a most deep shame if you were to not be a citizen of the Crescent Island. The Baron is executing people. We're aware. What do you but, think he is? But, I believe we, he is a paladin from Volbrunder. He is... I, I, I am, we are three, listen, we are trying to stop the evil that is corrupting this world, 
and it seems that some of its minions has gotten a foothold in your baron's life. How could you possibly know that? What? Uh, How could we possibly have known about the... Around the same time that the island closes, seemingly strange, bright yellow eyes, very creepy, ominous. Those How... creatures are of whatever is plaguing this continent. Violet pulls her hood back and stares at him, sort of with, like, anger in her eyes. Uh... Yeah. That's how we know. He points to her, like, trying to figure out what exactly she's doing. So... She's an ally. And... It's a long story, kind of scratches his head, but uh, she, she knows this critter who has your baron held hostage. Ain't exactly a friend of ours. We're looking to kill him. But she knows all about him. And how can you be certain, whatever that is, but he, you see, like, he knows. They look very similar. He's, like, looking at her. How can I be certain you're telling the truth? What, what are you? What is, what is this? It's above your pay grade is what it is. He kind of cracks his knuckles. Um, look, uh, like a, like Mayor, uh... Believe it or not, we're trying to see... <laughs> uh, yeah, so he seems... intimidated, but also... like, he kind of... you see, like, he he's kind of piecing all this together. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on with Violet, but... Uh, so you say that you believe the mayor is under some sort of spell, or sorry, my baron. I don't think spell it's a spell. One of these creatures. How do I know you're not working with that creature? I believe your baron is not under a spell. I believe that he made a choice whether to be destroyed or live and deal with these things. I've seen it before. Um, the Baron would would never sacrifice his people like that. In a way, he's... If it was his own choice, he wouldn't... In a way, no way I said he was choosing way, to do these things. Yeah. Again, it could be a spell, but also, if he could be choosing not to have that, he might be saving countless lives by giving a few. So we can't condemn him, condemn him quite yet. But I've, we've seen similar things. Have you heard word from the Dwarven Lands? <sighs> they overrun with the undead. We had a raven some time ago, but as you, as you are aware, we've been separated from the mainland for months. Hordes of undead. Then perhaps we, I'm grateful we're... that we are separated. We retook Valvander, and certainly we will help you regain your island. Look, it's as I said, even if I believed all of this, and I'm not saying I do, the Baron isn't seeing anyone. But he thinks for a moment. Perhaps I could arrange a meeting with his son, Carlisle. If you believe that would be of any sort of assistance. I don't know if his son is in on it, but... How old is Carlisle? You don't know. How old is this 
son of his. Uh, oh. Carlisle Ravencrest should be in his mid 20s by now. What if uh, you. Capable lad. What if Strong you tried to have a audience with the Baron? He sees no one, sir. I've already said this to you several times. This is alarming. But... Not even the people that take care of his land for him? How, how does he communicate with you and mayors of the smaller villages? He doesn't. Hmm. Truth be told, it's the only reason I believed speaking with his son would help. His son has taken up... Well, as of late, he has taken up the responsibilities of his father. All right, that's... If possible, it would greatly help us if we could speak to him. We would appreciate it. And of course, for time being, please, some manner of discretion. We don't want to scare off whatever is trying to take over this island. Your king, your yes. I. I know it's crazy and far-fetched, but believe me, it's... Perhaps, but... Things I've seen. He looks at Violet. It is... the strongest chance I've seen to stop this problem. We've been... stranded here for months now. I believe the people... Need a reprieve. Can't get much worse. Yes. Trust us, we have the best interest of your people in mind. Please do believe Very us. well. I will arrange a meeting with Carlisle, but you should be on your best behavior. Of course. I'd be out of the job if I even let half of these sorts of requests through. Uh, and he, uh, he begins to scroll some sort of order out. Uh, and, yeah. He looks at, like, a, some sort of ledger, and then he's, like, looking through some other papers. And... Well, Carlisle should be able to see you two days hence. Thank you very it much. will be... An early morning visit. I would show up there before noon. Good. I kind of extend a hand. He looks at you warily and shakes your hand. Thank you. Restore order to the island. I... If you can, I have family and friends here as well. And I am a man of the law. I don't want to see this place suffer. My only concern is with the peace and well-being of the land, people who live in the lands. <clears throat> just letting you know like, that's not totally true. Bavari is just trying to be as ruined. He hands uh, whoever's closest, uh, like a rolled up scroll with sealing wax on it. I, I hand it to Desmond because he's the hero. Yes, uh, hand this to the keep guards. They will confirm. Uh, that you are who you say you are, and then you should not be an issue. Good. Thank you. Just... Yes. Very well. And he kind of gives Violet a terrified look again. And kind of... Pat, pat Violet on the back. Okay. So, what are you guys going to do? You have... Two you days. have the rest of today and tomorrow to well, kick it. It is. I mean, do we want to open another can of worms or? 
What does that mean? Oh, well, yeah. It's approaching 11 o'clock. Yeah. So. It's 11, but I, mean, yeah. I don't like it. It's up to you. You're the one that's got school tomorrow. Yeah, Actually, he said that he has a test or yeah. something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. It's, so. Uh, like I said, it's up to you. It's a pretty big deal. Yeah. Um. I just want to know if there's anything you guys are going to do during the rest of today and tomorrow. Um. Uh, not really, I don't think. I'm trying to think if there's any preparation we should do. I'm thinking I might want to try to pick up some nice clothes. Might be smart, yeah, actually. I think you already have nice clothes. I, yeah, duh. I'm a noble. I'm sorry. I think yeah. you, they might want to pick up some clothes. Bahari wants Orsic to pick up some nice clothes. How I have, like, these nicely, like, nice, like, linen, like, or nice, like, mm -hmm. silk, like, anyway, yeah. I've never worn these. So Bahari looks over at her party members and she tisks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, we're well, gonna have to go shopping. Shopping montage, trying on see, clothes. Yeah, you fitting. see Desmond in like this sweaty, greasy armor with blood stains caked on it, and you know his hair is disheveled and he's got scars on his body. And yeah. like, what are you talking about? I'm fine. Or sick with this half kempt mohawk. And a frizzy beard, and that tattered shirt and tattered like trousers. Born torn veterans of war. You less so. I mean, you you got some really nice clothing that you can switch I, into. No, no, I I do. I know how to keep myself like. <laughs> I'm like a noble, but they're like, they don't like what? No, this is what I normally look. It's like yeah. It's like That's someone. Nice. It's like someone Probably. who like, you know, might be like a peasant back in the Middle Ages is like. This is how I look, you know. Yeah. I take a bath once a month. I'll throw the baby out with the bath water. Kind of. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. So I think we're just gonna. I'm gonna get into my nice, noble, attire, mm -hmm. and then that way, yeah. That's pretty much that. Oh, I freaking like. Okay. So. So I guess right. uh, on our day off, we'll go buy some clothes. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. I think that's probably it then. Uh, else? Then. Uh, but we do have to do experience, so... Orsic gets for... zero because he wasn't there for any combat. Possibly sometime this week to play uh, some Heralds of Darkness. Yeah. I mean, I could even play tomorrow. Uh, yeah. If you guys wanted, or if any of you wanted. Yeah, I'm actually tomorrow's still my day off, so uh, I'm gonna AFK one sec though. So. Alright, um so Vahari, Desmond and Violet split and keg experience. So I don't think Orsic gets any though, right? No. no. Yeah. Dab. Dude, I now was it was it like lo super lucky that I guessed that or was it was that well, did you just kind of go as it was like the boat did you just kind of roll with it or was i actually somehow right in guessing that he's a puppet this is a puppet state i'm not going to disclose that to you yet i'm not even going to tell you you're right that's true okay you're right duh um, you have um uh yeah, the creatures you fought the burrowers Split three ways is 900 experience each. 900. So add 900 to your character sheet. And... Alright. Um, you didn't complete any goals, right? Neither yeah. of you? Correct. And Ancake experience handed out. Um, anything else experience worthy? No complete Probably quests? Not. Um, we yeah. I, so the only experience I get is from uh, recap, right? The recap, correct. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't participate in the murder oboe of those creatures. Yeah. How much experience did Mikey get for that? Uh, nine hundred each. Oh. If if, yeah. I was thinking if it was more experience, I would have been able to level. If I would have been there for it. So, so disappointing. Tough break. You're gonna have to finish this quest up, maybe. Or kill some shit. I wonder how much I get for 
recap. It's like about 3,000. You got me? Yeah, I um, got, got 3,200. Dang, that's pretty freaking good. I think I'll level up next sesh. That's how it goes. If we, if we, if we do the recap plus, uh, if we get some XP for some other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's likely that I'll be level 9 by next session, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are moving right along. So, um, tomorrow I have a day off, so if either of you want to play more D&D, I'm always down. Mm -hmm. I want to see freaking D&D play up. Like, I want to watch you play, like, some sort of... Yeah, I would love to play, uh... Watch. I'd love to play a character. Um... And honestly, I don't require, you know, but like I know that you really want to do that, shit, so I'm not going to push you to ever DM, but like if if you ever just want to DM and you don't really feel like you have a bunch of shit prepared, we can just play a pickup game. I mean, sometime, you know, it doesn't have to if, be if all. You want me, if you want me to think on it hard overnight, I could, um... I'm not worried like a, about some awesome story. I mean, you know, yeah. right now we're running like a very heavy campaign. Yeah. So on the side, if we want to just play some random pickup game, I have no issue with that. Mm -hmm. Do you want to work on your improv and? Yeah, I mean, I can, I can. Um... I have plenty of voices I can do. <laughs> I can, I can think some today. something over. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll try to come up with something overnight. How about that? Hey, come over here. Yeah, I mean so, no pressure, but if you yeah. feel like doing it tomorrow, let me know. Yeah. Uh, oh. anything, anything. Uh, you know, I'll try to, I'll try to make it in my, um, in my Sumerian universe. Mm -hmm. So. Just uh, just try to save like your your main heavy stuff for oh, like yeah. when maybe when me and Michael will be playing a campaign or something. Yeah. You know. Because all the work you're going into, I don't want to just like murder hobo it on some useless random character <laughs> I roll up. Yeah, yeah. So save your big stuff. And no, yeah, maybe yeah. Maybe focus on a I'm... side story or something. Yeah, exactly. That's what that's the thing I'm gonna do. All right, I'm cool. Try to come up with that. So. Swag. Well, it was a. Uh, I don't know. It was a little bit shorter than usual, was it? Yeah, yeah we only right. we only played uh, like four and a half hours. Yeah, it's not too bad though. Man, it goes by quick with all that. Uh... <laughs>